computer. Things work a little bit different now in this new version of Minecraft, meaning that um, the food meter is no longer, or eating no longer instantly replenishes your health. Now, when you eat, it replenishes your food meter, and if you have enough food, your health will regenerate by itself. So, it's pretty important to keep to keep up with the eating. Just like in real life. What do you know? But speaking of eating, hello Mr. Pig. How are you today? Aw, oh, he's looking at me so sadly. Ah, uh -huh. uh, too bad, I have to kill him. And also, see that? Experience orbs have been dropped. I'll pick him up in a second here, but I feel like doing some more killing. Yep. Got some, uh, got some beef. Hold on, I'm sorry, pig. Now they run from you. Which I guess is an improvement over just sitting there and letting them destroy you, but makes it a little bit harder. Which I guess I can. Whoa! Hello, skeleton. Pick up some experience orbs. Ow! He's following me. Holy crap, look at the size of his bow. I'm not sure if that makes a difference gameplay wise, but it certainly looks a lot more intimidating. They now have a bowl the size of mine. Oh, crap. Die! Yes, I'm not sure this is the best... Oh! And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first Enderman. I would mess with him, but I am... Uh, well, not of full health, so... I'm not going... The thing about Enderman is they're actually, believe it or not, they're neutral. Until you, um... Until you look at them. Then they freak out. Then they attack you. They're kind of neat because they can teleport. Makes them very dangerous. So, making careful not to look at him. Place this door. Go inside. Ah, home sweet home. We now have iron. We're gonna take that out. We're going to. We're gonna cook our beef. While we cook our beef, it's time to make. An iron sword. Oh wait, yeah, we need more um, sticks first. I don't want to make them all sticks, and I know shift click automatically brings it out now, so. Alright. Got that. Now we can make our iron sword. Nice. Alright. Take that out, and put the pork chops in. Alright, see our food meter? We are going to take our pork chops, which, actually no, these are the steak, which looked like um, what pork chops used to look like, but now pork chops have a new texture, which you can see here. A little bit more realistic, actually. And now we will eat. Nom 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 nom. I love it. I love the new eating animation. And now that we've eaten, as you can see, my health meter is slowly starting to regenerate. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to stay in here until it regenerates all the way. In the meantime, I can build myself a little chest for things I don't need. Alright, here we go. And watch this. Yep, there is now a chest opening animation. We're going to put some coal. We don't need this, this, or this for now. Or that, or the bones, or the arrows for now. We don't need half of our stone. We don't need half of our dirt. We're going to put the saplings in here, too. This stupid wooden pickaxe. And we're going to put half of our iron in here for safekeeping. So, there we go. We're fully healed now. I feel like venturing outside. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be foolish. Whoa! Hold that thought. We got some creepers to kill. All right. But as I was saying, it might be foolish, but we're going to challenge the Enderman. Yes, we are. So, um, right now he's minding his own business, not bothering us. We're going to take out our sword, and we're going to look at him. You see that? He's freaking out. You can hold it there as long as you like. Then we'll just look away, and... Whoa! Oh, God. 
Okay, he wasn't hard to defeat, but just the moment that he teleported in front of me and teleported behind me. Now that was some creepy stuff right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Enderman. And what I've grabbed now is the Ender Pearl. Right now has no uses other than looking pretty awesome. But looking awesome is a very useful tool. I should know, I do look awesome. Alright, well, we're going to dig out some more coal while we're here. And then I want to explore some of those um, cave formations that I uh, that I saw a few minutes ago. All right. And as you can see, I keep getting experience orbs, which have no purpose for now, but you know, in the future might. Wow. Yeah, I can kill them with only one shot with iron sword. They must have improved its strength because I don't remember that being possible before. Wait a minute, what's through here? I don't know, let's find out. What's splashing? Oh god. Oh crap. There we go. I love how things regenerate when, when you have full food. Alright. And another underground thing. This looks like a more ordinary looking cave. Swim up the stream. Oh god. Yes, but this is definitely still part of that canyon system. Which I already love quite a lot. Also, there's a lot... Because of the canyons, there's a lot more surface stone. Which means a lot more sources of coal. Wait for that to go. Oh yeah, one thing else I wanted to craft. Whee! I wanted to make some shears, just in case I found some uh, sheep. Oops. I wanted to craft a new pickaxe. I don't want to really make a crafting table out here, but we'll just go back to the base and make it there. Base. It's a very, a very generous term for such a, uh, such a small structure. We'll keep this on hand. All right. Well, I want to make an iron pickaxe and keep it for us, you know, in case I find something. And I want to make a stone pickaxe for everyday use. And what else did I want to make? Oh yeah, shears. And while I'm at it, I wanted to make your everyday crafting table for portable reasons. All right. Toss the ender pearl and the gunpowder in there and some of the coal. All right. Anything else I want to put in there? Spare sword. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I love I love these how they open and close now. I'm just gonna do it a few more times. All right. Here we go. We're fully stacked. We can move our way along. Is it day? I think it might be day. Although with my very bright settings. It's hard to tell. But anyway, what I wanted to do was explore that um, feature I saw in here. Yes, a sheer hole! I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wow, this hole's a death trap if you uh, weren't fully supplied. Wow, look at this. I didn't know there were going to be sheer holes of doom in here. <laughs> oh well, now we're going to have to dig ourselves out. I could just pillar my way out, but eh, I want a way that's going to last in case I fall down here again. And I'm not going to make it nice with stairs or anything, I'm just going to, you know, do it up like this, a little hoppy hop way. Just for easy transportation. Alright. But I love this. I love this a lot. I am so far very pleased with this update. It's, it truly is a um, wide-ranging expansion onto this game. 
And I mean, the game was great as it was, but, you know, this adds a whole lot to it. And we, we've we barely seen... Ah, oh god. Ha ha. But yeah, we've only seen a small portion of it so far. Alright. No, you don't. Yeah, you just keep falling until you die. We're gonna create a little walkway for us to come here and collect this iron. Nice. Nice. And now, to get the coal, make our way around. Okay. Well, that was the longest exploration of a sheer hole that we've ever seen. Hi, Mr. Creeper. I also heard, I've not seen this myself, but I've also heard that, um, animals, like farm animals, now no longer despawn. Which means you actually can fence them in and such. Which is pretty, uh, it's pretty neat. I'm also thinking that means that wool regrows on sheep after a while. Which is very cool. Alright. Yes. Even though I'm usually a builder, I'm not in a builder kind of mood today. I'm in an explorer kind of mood. I want to see the rest of this canyon before we go anywhere. Because I know there's some caves down there. Alright. But yes, first... Oh yeah, we have been here before. We'll go down there in a bit. Time to get this coal. As you know, I can't see coal without collecting it. It's just all that more um, appealing to me. Oh, there's iron behind the coal. And there's coal behind the coal behind the iron behind the coal. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, let's get it all. And I hear a spider very close. I really wish the F3 trick still worked, but you know what? It was kind of cheaty, and I guess it is for the best that they eliminated it from the game. But just, just because I can, I don't know. I guess no one was back there, but it was worth, <gasps> worth a little dig. Ow, the hell? Where do you come from? Also, you can craft wool with a string now, if you have enough string. So, it's a new addition, kind of realistic. Alright, let's dig our way out on this side. I really want to see if I can shear some sheep. I really want to make a bed. Oh, boy. Great timing. Or, not timing, but, you know. Hello, chicken. How are you? You're dead, that's what you are. And now we even have raw chicken. I love it. Feathers and raw chicken. You know, the food meter might need a lot of attention, but there's just so much, uh, so much around here to eat that it barely matters. Hello, pig. At least they try to run away now. I like the looks of these new trees. Um, forget exactly what kind of trees they are. But I like it a lot. I just want to get to an area where there are trees with vines. Because that's cool. I keep hearing all these zombies, but don't know where they are. Oh, man. And also, this body is water. Much deeper now. Look at that. I mean, just look how deep this goes. Let's see if we can get down there safely. Yeah, there's like a whole underwater uh, cave or something. Which I probably should not explore. Oh, come on, get up there, get up there. 
Alright, well at least we have full food, so um we can keep uh regenerating, but Yeah, there's a cave down here. Oh god, oh god, oh schmuck. Oh, that was wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had our first death of the uh this mini let's play. And I didn't respawn by my bed, isn't that great? But I respawned by my original house. Yes, epic structures. I want to get my stuff back, but I don't remember which direction I w went in. Oh, uh, it's at this point any other person would rage quit, but I'm a persistent son of a bitch. That's what they, that's how they know me. So we're going to walk until we find something familiar, and then we're going to get right down to it. This happened to me in Smoothie. Haven't told you about this yet, but I was walking around and I died somewhere. Whoa, okay, here's our canyon. I died somewhere, but I completely did not remember where I died, and I lost a whole, a whole bunch of stuff, including a diamond sword. I was pissed. Pissed as can be. But yeah, this is going to be a tricky place to find because it was underwater. I mean, I kind of have myself to blame for being more, f for being foolish. But still, sucks. All right. Bring this with us. Bring this damn thing with us. All right. As long as I get my stuff back. I'm not going to be too um, upset. Alright, here we go. Swim across the water. Because I really want to get back to showing off some of the more... the cool new stuff that... that we have not seen yet. Up and up and up and up and up. And where was it? Was it over here? This is going to suck finding this. No, it wasn't this way. I think it was this way. Ah, oh, look, squid. But it was somewhere really, really deep. Wasn't here. But it was definitely within this general vicinity. I really hate to have lost all that stuff. All right. Wait, did I see some form of entrance to a cave down here? No, that's just the ravine I came in. Alright, so I came up here. I'm like, oh, splish, splash, taking a bath. I looked over here. I'm like, oh, this is deep. Her, her, her. But somewhere, there was like under... It looked like it was under a lip. Hmm... I don't know. It's very dark. I can't make anything out. I don't know. I might not be able to find this at all. It might be too late. Wait, nope, 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 nope. Wait, here we are. I'm sure it was down here. Uh. Hello, squid. Yeah, it was down here, right? It has to be down here. It was, but my stuff's not here. Did I wait too long? Did my stuff disappear? You know what? I think I did wait too long. But I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to dig around in this general area. Because I have a sneaking feeling that um, the sand might have closed up on a different area that I was in. And I might be able to find all my stuff. Or not. Okay. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure my stuff is just gone now. Yeah, I know, random little kid um, outside. I would be crying, too. Alright. Well, anyway, folks, um, I'm going to cut here, and I'll see you in a few minutes once I've re-harvested re enough stuff.